Click the link in the description below to receive our free Building Mental Muscle newsletter, and for a limited time, get these 10 classic best-selling Law of Attraction books for free. We hope you enjoy this presentation. If so, please click the like button and click the subscribe button below to receive notification when we release new recordings. Richard Hargraves presents Your Faith is Your Fortune by Neville Goddard. First published 1941. This audio edition recorded 2023. Digitally narrated using the voice of Jeff Masters for BuildingMentalMuscle.com, copyright 2023 Iron Power Publishing. All rights reserved. Your Faith is Your Fortune by Neville Goddard. Chapter 23 Be Ears That Hear. Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. Luke, chapter 9, verse 44. Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. Be not as those who have eyes that see not and ears that hear not. Let these revelations sink deep into your ears, for after the Son, idea, is conceived man with his false values, reason, will attempt to explain the why and wherefore of the Son's expression, and in so doing will rent him to pieces. After men have agreed that a certain thing is humanly impossible and therefore cannot be done, let someone accomplish the impossible thing. The wise ones who said it could not be done will begin to tell you why and how it happened. After they are all through tearing the seamless robe, cause of manifestation, apart they will be as far from the truth as they were when they proclaimed it impossible. As long as man looks for the cause of expression in places other than the expressor, he looks in vain. For thousands of years man has been told, I am the resurrection and the life. No manifestation cometh unto me save I draw it, but man will not believe it. He prefers to believe in causes outside of himself. The moment that which was not seen becomes seen, man is ready to explain the cause and purpose of its appearance. Thus, the Son of Man, idea desiring manifestation, is constantly being destroyed at the hands, reasonable explanation or wisdom, of man. Now that your awareness is revealed to you as cause of all expression, do not return to the darkness of Egypt with its many gods. There is but one God. The one and only God is your awareness. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven, and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand, or say unto him, What doest thou? If the whole world should agree that a certain thing could not be expressed and yet you became aware of being that which they had agreed could not be expressed, you would express it. Your awareness never asks permission to express that which you are aware of being. It does so, naturally, and without effort, in spite of the wisdom of man and all opposition. Salute no man by the way. This is not a command to be insolent or unfriendly, but a reminder not to recognize a superior, not to see in anyone a barrier to your expression. None can stay your hand or question your ability to express that which you are conscious of being. Do not judge after the appearances of a thing, for all are as nothing in the eyes of God. When the disciples through their judgment of appearances saw the insane child, they thought it a more difficult problem to solve than others they had seen, and so, they failed to achieve a cure. In judging after appearances, they forgot that all things were possible to God. Hypnotized as they were by the reality of appearances, they could not feel the naturalness of sanity. The only way for you to avoid such failures is to constantly bear in mind that your awareness is the Almighty, the all-wise presence. Without help, this unknown presence within you effortlessly outpictures that which you are aware of being. Be perfectly indifferent to the evidence of the senses, so that you may feel the naturalness of your desire, 
and your desire will be realized. Turn from appearances and feel the naturalness of that perfect perception within yourself, a quality never to be distrusted or doubted. Its understanding will never lead you astray. Your desire is the solution of your problem. As the desire is realized, the problem is dissolved. You cannot force anything outwardly by the mightiest effort of the will. There is only one way you can command the things you want and that is by assuming the consciousness of the things desired. There is a vast difference between feeling a thing and merely knowing it intellectually. You must accept without reservation the fact that by possessing, feeling, a thing in consciousness you have commanded the reality that causes it to come into existence in concrete form. You must be absolutely convinced of an unbroken connection between the invisible reality and its visible manifestation. Your inner acceptance must become an intense, unalterable conviction which transcends both reason and intellect, renouncing entirely any belief in the reality of the externalization except as a reflection of an inner state of consciousness. When you really understand and believe these things you will have built up so profound a certainty that nothing can shake you. Your desires are the invisible realities which respond only to the commands of God. God commands the invisible to appear by claiming himself to be the thing commanded. He made himself equal with God and found it not robbery to do the works of God. Now let this saying sink deep in your ear. Be conscious of being that which you want to appear. End of chapter. If you enjoyed listening to this recording, please click the like button and click the subscribe button below to receive notification when we release new recordings. Click the link in the description below to receive our free Building Mental Muscle newsletter and for a limited time get these 10 classic best-selling Law of Attraction books for free.